I would advise young entrepreneurs to focus on is my name is Inu Anima, CEO and owner of Shades Beauty. Here with me today um, for this media coverage is Spay TV. You can reach them for your media coverage at Spay TV underscore NG for Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, tag a friend at Spay TV Nigeria on YouTube and Facebook. My name is Inua Niima. I'm CEO and owner of Shades Beauty. I'm from Kaduna State. Uh, I'm an indigenous of Kaduna State. Spent most of my life in Zaria. I went to school in Ahmad Bele University. Currently, I'm halfway through my MSc postgraduate program from the Department of Architecture. I also finished my BSc from Architecture a few years back. And my business is based in Zaria on campus. <music> Our business is called Shades Beauty because um, my name is Inua Niima. If you speak Hausa, you know Inua actually means shade. And it's a common nickname I had growing up from my brothers and my classmates in secondary school. They would, call, they would constantly call me Slim Shady because I'm shade. So um, that's where the name shade came from. I've always liked shade, so it's Shades Beauty. Well, um, Shades Beauty is an entire makeup establishments. We do casuals, we do bridals. I'm a big fan of bridals. Focus a lot on um, bridal shoots, um, bridal looks, weddings, um, the entire look um, basically. We also do stylings. The favorite thing I actually do is um, editorials. That's photo shoots for maybe magazine covers or let's say like um, graphic posters. I, I work with a popular photographer in Zara. His name is um, Jace, Jace Pictures. We do a lot of editorial shoots together and a few other photographers too. Um, some people like to book us for maybe birthday shoots because we, we stay for not just the makeup, um, styling and two shops and like the entire team just work on your whole look during the, the photo shoots and minimal things for like students, graduation dinners, everyday makeup as well, anything you really want that has to do with beauty and styling, we do it all. So in addition to bridal styling and general makeup, we also do gele and turbans because it's like a new craze for um, Afrocentric gele styles and turbans and himars and all that. So we do that. Some people may request for just the gele services and um, we also do one-on-one um, -on -one makeup training classes and um, we're still working on the large public um, class training classes but we do one-on-one um, -on -one professional training hands-on everything you need to know from basic makeup to full form bridal makeup to the gaily styling and turban tying as well um, let's see the major challenges I face seeing as students are my major clientele when there's a problem with school strike for example business is down. For example, now school is empty. The university has shut down for this, the pandemic that's going around the coronavirus. So it's very difficult to keep business moving even during the holiday sessions or during the strike or anything like that. Even though I have like a couple of my clients in Kaduna State and other referrals that are probably not students, you know, bridals and editorials are not as common as the average student's casual makeup or birthdays and stuff. So that's the major challenge I have with um, working in university environments like the business boom fluctuates with students. My advice to an upcoming entrepreneur is the number one mistake I made in the first six months when I started is I didn't pay enough attention to publicity, local publicity. A lot of us focus more on the social media national audience but you get a lot more from your local community like you need to go out there and find out who your clients are and what they actually need, the services they require and reach out to them. For example, the the hostel, for, it's, it's a very wonderful place to start. That's where you have the largest number of students gathered in one place rather than just pouring all your energy into your social media presence. Another thing I would advise young entrepreneurs to focus on is we tend to do things that are trending maybe you want to go into a particular business that you saw somebody make a lot of profit from if it's not something you're good at or passionate about you're not going to succeed i've always loved makeup i've been doing makeup since i was 
a young teenager i've watched so many makeup videos and then one day my friends are like this is something you are so good at and you love so much why not make a business out of it and because i loved it it was easy to just start now if i didn't have a passion for it there would be no ground to start from so it was easy to grow from there because I enjoyed it. No matter how it went, I was enjoying my services that I was giving to people and getting paid for it. It's a great bonus. Um, let's see, the saying, not every pain customer is good for business. I agree with that because I've come across a lot of people that I wouldn't particularly say for selfish interest because we're all trying to preserve our own financial interests. So we have people that may want to downplay your services and get the most out of you for limited pay. And I'm a strong believer in preserving your mental health. If you get an appointment that is more, more salt than it's worth, Preserve your identity, preserve your business. Don't downplay the quality of what you give because of the price the person is willing to pay. I, I believe in giving 100%. If I can't give 100%, I will not take your appointment. Um, I'm primarily Zaria based, but I'm available to travel for bridals and editorials. Um, you can reach me on Instagram at Shades Beauty and on Twitter at Shades Beauty. My phone number and uh, WhatsApp contact is available on both my bios on, Shade, on uh, Instagram and Twitter. That's Shades Beauty with a Y, S, S H A Y D E S Beauty. <music> CEO and owner of Shades Beauty. Here with me today um, for this media coverage is Spay TV. You can reach them for your media coverage at Spay TV underscore NG for Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, tag a friend at Spay TV Nigeria on YouTube and Facebook.